so, sorry, not to do prostitution, the Muslim, he should not force her to, to do so. But if Allah, he force the prostitute, somebody says the verse saying it clearly that Allah will forgive them, the women. This is false. Number one, in the verse in there, you see the two marks, it says forgive them. This is not in the Quran. There's no them. In the Quran it says, oh, Allah is all forgivable. He forgive. It's not about the women, it's not about the men. Allah will forgive. So, this is the Muslim translation, which is a very big fat lie. And you know what? Let us just for the sake of argument say, okay, Allah is saying I will forgive the women. Allah will forgive the women. Right? Now, what is the punishment for a Muslim man? He is forcing women to do prostitution. This is number one. Number two. What if the woman, she don't desire chastity? It means she can do that. Because the verse made a condition. If she desires chastity, you cannot force her for prostitution. But if she do not desire chastity, you can do force her. The verse is so clear, which means prostitution is allowed. The condition he is making there is forcing or forcing not. That's all. But the prostitution is legal. Your mic, Ibrahim. Okay, this verse talks about what we call Wana Malakat Kaimanukum. Okay, so it's included in chapter of slavery. We can talk all the day about slavery, and they can give you evidence that Quran it came progressively to 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 uh, discourage to uh, to delete to delete the slavery. Okay, I can give you evidence uh, about that. And I invite you to discover modern prostitution of 29th century, which is humiliation of women. Just go to Google and tip porn star and tube, tube, like that. Okay, you can discover the new prostitution. If one, you do not need to tell me where you, what, 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 what site you visit. I can tell you are very expert about porn stars. This is not the question. The question is the Quran allowed in it, man. If the women don't desire chastity, according to this verse, she is allowed to be a prostitute, correct? Your mind. Uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat your question, please? I was uh, looking in Google uh, to porn star tube. Porn star tube. Your potential wives. And your potential daughters and your potential sisters are all there. Okay, take take the mic. Oh, my wife Aisha, she is there. I'm really sad now. You know about Aisha? Well, I divorced her anyway, you know. And by the way, I can show you a hadith in the Islamic books saying that Aisha, she used to decorate women and send them in the street. To hand handsome men. Do you want me to show you? you? This is Aisha, the prophet wife. And as long as you are mentioning about our wives and our sisters and our daughters, is it true in Islam you are allowed to marry a woman? You call it marriage. For muta, you go to a woman and you say to her, I want to have sex with you for half hour, how much you want. Is that true or not? Your mind. You know, my friend Christian, uh, I'm Muslim because I deserve my wife. Why I deserve her? Because every time I see a woman... You deserve your wife? What do you mean you deserve your wife? Explain to me that verse, please. You know, English is my second language. You deserve your wife? Go ahead. Yes. Because every time I see something which is sexual offensive, I can I condemn it. I don't hesitate to, to condemn it. I see this is... Okay, I want you to ask me an honest question, and I'm not insulting you. You see, you tried to insult me before, I'm not here to insult you. How much you paid to your wife before you have her in your bedroom? According to...
to Islamic law, you have to pay her. I want an honest answer. How much you paid to your wife before she joined you in the bedroom? Give me the number, your mind. Yes, I paid, indeed. I paid her parents, okay? And it's personal issue to tell you how much exactly. Oh, 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 you paid her parents. You paid her for what? You paid for what? Your mind. Yes, just to uh, pay the festivities. To uh, how do you say lars? How do you say lars in English? The the to. Well, I can show you in the Quran. The Quran says you pay because you used her vagina. It's called even wages. Wages for what? For what you enjoy. What enjoy what? The vagina. Do you want me to show you the verse? Your mind? Shame on you to consider the husband as a profit pro abuser who wants to enjoy. Shame on you. Okay? And you don't condemn pornography. Okay? So you. Thank you very much. He said shame on you. It's been shame on Allah because it's not me who said that. It is not me who said that. It is the Quran. You have to pay them wages. For what? For what you enjoy. Enjoy what? Joy sex. So you say, shame on you to say that we pay wages. When the Quran says you pay wages. I'm so glad that you agree with me that this is a shame. And this is mean shame on Allah to order the Muslim man to pay wages for the women. Wages, you know, wages for what? For sex. In chapter 4, verse 24, it says, Give them their wages. Isn't it true that the word ujur mean wages? Mr. Ifran, you're right. I told you, shame on you, because you adapt on the legal enjoy. We, we women, we, we people have desire. What do you mean legal enjoy? This is this is legal prostitution. Why you want to pay your wife for having sex with her? Guys, they pay their wives for sex. Five dollars, five dollars, take off your panties, five dollars, you see it? No, 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 take off your panties first. No, six dollars? Come on, inflation? What do you have to do with the inflation? This is five dollars, come on. Okay, six dollars. So you are saying you pay your wife for sex because this is legal. Enjoy your mind. Yes, because because it's legal to found a family, to found a family, okay? Why you try to really... Where is the family? You pay your wife? How you consider the woman is your family? If she is not, you, you know, she's not your wife. She's a prostitute, you are paying her for sex. If she is from the family, why you pay her wages, you mind? She work for you, what she do? Wages. This is what the Quran says. Ujurahun. Wages. Why you pay the women wages? Your mind. Even with the small opportunity you give me to talk, the small opportunity to talk, I will defeat you. Okay? And you will be shameful. You shame on, shame on you. Uh, this money, I give it to pay the weddings, to celebrate this event, this eternal no, 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 no. The Quran says wages. Wages.
wages. Are you against the Quran? Does the Quran say wages? Ujurahun, you might. 